Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so this is my last video of 2011, and so for that, I wanted to do something special. And so I thought about doing um, films of 2011 to say goodbye to the year. And um, in total this year, there were around 500 films, close to 500 that came out, including independent movies. And I have seen, and this is kind of... <laughs> horrendous but I've seen only 17 2011 movies which which even I think it's kinda bad cuz I haven't seen too many 2011 movies less than a quarter so yeah these are the 17 movies that I've seen and I'm gonna group them into the worst films the best films and the middle because I can't choose <laughs> it's in the middle so first um, I try to make my list not typical so, but some of these are typical, like Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, so, yeah. So, okay, first of all, let's start with the one of the best films, um, of course, being Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. It's the last one, so of course it had to be the best and the more, most action-packed, and, um, yeah, and it succeeded. It did all of that, and, um, and I'm proud of it, and it's very good. Next, let's go to a worse film, uh, Green Hornet. Um, I was really disappointed in that film. It, it was supposed to be a superhero film, but I didn't think it was a superhero because the, the two main guys didn't have any powers. All they had was their car and their weapons. Yeah, so... But it was bad. I, I didn't like it. I know some people liked it, but... No, I didn't like it. And let's go to a middle. Is um, Take Me Home Tonight. Uh, this movie was actually shot in 2007, but it got delayed so many times, so finally they released it. It stars Topher Grace, Teresa Palmer, and Dan Fogler. Um, it, it's like a... Um, it's based in the 1970s. It's from the writers of that 70s show, so it's kind of similar to that 70s show. So yeah, it was, it, it was okay for me. I know some people said they really liked it. Well, most people said they really liked it, but I thought it was in, in the middle. Best film, um, just go with it. Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler. Um, you know she she's actually doing really good this year. I know there was like three films came out this year. I've seen two of them. I've seen Just Go with It and The Switch. Wait, was Switch 2011? I really don't know. <laughs> but yeah, those two were really good. And um, yeah, that was really funny. Um, the funniest part was where the um, where um, they were at that uh, hotel in Hawaii with the other couple and they were playing that um, that dancing game and they had to um, play with the coconut thing. I thought that was the funniest bit. So yeah, it's very good. Just go with it. Uh, Wars film, um, Hoodwink 2, Hood vs. Evil. Um, I really liked the first one and the second one just wasn't good. I mean, it just wasn't. And uh, I didn't think they needed to do a sequel. I mean, it, they didn't need it. The first one was great. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know why they did it. They kind of ruined the series. But, but the first one's still pretty good. So, yep. Um, middle, Red Riding Hood. Um, I liked it, but it wasn't as bad as everyone says. And um, yeah, I thought it was okay. So, And I thought Amanda Seyfried did pretty good in that. So, yeah. Red Riding Hood. Best film? Uh, Soul Surfer. I, mean, I really like that and I think this film is overlooked by everyone because no one really had it. But yeah, it's it's a true story based on a true story about Bethany Hamilton. It's um, She's a surfer and uh, during a surf surfing thing uh, she uh, she get she, she's involved in a shark attack. Sorry about that. And uh, the shark um, bites off one of her um, arms so she only has one arm and uh, she still wants to serve and um, so yeah it's a story about that um, I think Anna Sophia Robb did a really good portraying her and yeah it, it was really good um, really good drama stars Dennis Quaid too so pretty good it's also for uh, worst film Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides um, it's the fourth film yeah and um, I don't know. I, I didn't like it. I went to see it in the theaters with my friends and uh, they didn't like it too. It was kind of boring in my opinion, but 
Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people said it was good, but I don't, I don't know how. I, I just didn't like it. It, it was really long. Um, and I guess the new cast might be the problem. I don't know. I mean, they weren't totally bad, but but uh, Kira Knightley and Orlando Bloom were pretty good too. I wonder why they wanted to leave. But yeah, but um, well, it's probably good for them. Maybe. But yeah. <laughs> uh, middle, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules, the second um, movie in the series. Um, my cousins wanted to see it, so I went to see it in the theaters with them. Uh, it was a nice, nice film, a fun one, but I wouldn't consider it a great one, so it has to be in the middle. And you know, I really like that song in the end. Um, I think it was called "Exploding, Exploding Diapers." <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. But the guy who was wearing the eyeliner, that was kind of creepy. But yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, it was a fun film, nice to watch. Best film, "Limitless," starring ba Bradley Cooper and. Uh, Robert De Niro. Uh, that was pretty good. I thought um, it, it was really good. And But uh, for me, it wasn't a movie that uh, you could watch over and over again. So yeah, it's kind of like a watch once type of movie for me. I probably have to wait like next year to watch it again because I, I don't feel like watching it again. But yeah, it's like a watch once type for me. But it was really good. And... Um, and the twist ending at the end, I did not really get it. Uh, he says he was off the drugs, but I thought he was still on it. So, if anyone knows what they think about it, but yeah. I think he was still on it. That's just my thinking. But yeah, pretty good, Limitless. Um, where are we? Um, oh, right, middle. I have Mr. Popper's Penguin, starring Jim Carrey. I again went to see this with my cousins. They wanted to see it. So I went with them to the theaters. It wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't the best. It wasn't bad. So it was good. I mean, the, the penguins were really cute. And uh, Jim Carrey, he's good. So, yeah, Mr. Popper's Penguins. Pretty good. It was okay. Yeah. And best film is Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Not the best of the year. I know some people said that, but... It was it was one of the best ones of the year. Um, it was good. The the apes, the CGI was really good, and Andy Serkis as the as as Caesar was pretty good. Um, James Franco, Frida Pinto was also good. I don't remember the dad's name. What was it? I don't know. But yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, Tom Felton was in it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, worst film, Cars 2. I also went to see this with my cousins in the theater. Um, it, it was okay. I mean, I didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't like it. Um, I really liked the first one. I mean, it was, it was good. But the second one was just like the World Grand Prix thing. I didn't like that. And all the racing. Yeah, the first one was pretty good, but the second one kind of ruined it. But, yeah, first one's still good, so. Yep, Cars 2. And the middle, I have The Roommate. I know some people put it on their worst of 2011, but I thought it was in the middle. It was a little uh, slow for me. A little bit. So I guess that might have put off some people, but it wasn't too bad. Um, Leighton Meester, she really freaked me out. Yeah, I really didn't think she could do that, but she did, and she surprised me, and that was that was good. So that's it for middle and worst films. I still have uh, three more best films. So um, I know a lot of people will disagree with me on this, but Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1. I really liked it. I was surprised by it. And, um, you know, the, it was... I would say it was the best from the series, from the other three films. The first one wasn't good. It was awkward. And the acting was kind of bad. Second one was better, but, um, but, you know, it was still kind of awkward. Third one, I haven't seen, but, um, but everyone says it's better than the other two, but I still believe that, um, this one's the best, even though I haven't seen the third one, which is kind of weird, but, but
but yeah, I I really like this. It's the CG CGI, sorry. Yeah, I I just really liked it, and the acting was a lot better by Kristen Stewart and the Robert Pattinson by everyone, pretty much. Yeah, so Twilight Breaking Dawn Part One, really good. Next, I just saw this yesterday. Uh, Thor, um, is, uh, of course, Marvel uh, superhero movie. I really liked it actually. I thought uh, it was pretty good. Everyone was pretty good. Um, Chris Hemsworth, I think he did pretty good, and his body is really good. And yeah, and Natalie Portman, uh, she wasn't an important important character, but she played his love interest. So yeah, that was pretty good. And just today, just like ten minutes ago, I finished watching this. Hannah, I think this is this fits in my top five. Um, it was really good. Uh, starring what? Oh my god. Sorosis Ronan. Sorry, I really can't say her name. Eric Bana, Kate Blanchett. Yeah, it was really good. I actually really liked this. Some people said it was too slow, which I guess I could see their point. It, but it wasn't to me. I, it was just right for my liking. And but I did have um, one objection. It's in the um, in the first thirty minutes when she's escaping from from that facility thing. Like. Uh, they did that weird thing with the lights, like, you know, that went with the music. It it seemed like a music video, sort of, to me, when she was uh, going out, which, that that was kind of weird. Uh, but also, they did that weird camera spinning thing a lot, and that, which kind of gives me a headache, but they did that a lot. But afterwards, they stopped, and, you know, I really liked it. Um, uh, the fighting was good, the acting was really good, story was awesome. You know, I really like this. That has to be on my top five. So, yeah, so that's it for me, 17 movies I saw this year. I promise you I'll see more next year and uh, hopefully do this video again. Not this video, but for 2012. I promise you more than 17 video movies. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, sorry this video is 12 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next year. I just want to say thanks to everyone who saw my my two-year anniversary video on YouTube. Uh, that was awesome. I got 20, around 25 responses from subscribers, which was just awesome. 